Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about a case that has a theme, an overarching theme, let's say, that I like returning to every so often because I do think it is a necessary repeated discussion because I feel like we keep seeing the same shit happen over and over online and it's not taken as seriously as it should be. Now I'm talking about cyberbullying. In this particular case, I'm not talking about cyberbullying as in someone commenting, hey, you're ugly under someone's picture. While that's rude and inappropriate, I'm talking about really the Michelle Carter type cases where it isn't saying one thing and leaving. It's a constant and repeated harassment that would damage anyone's mental health. I think even just one mean comment can frankly be relatively damaging depending on what it says. But we're talking about the most serious version of all of those cases. Woman accused of pushing X to suicide through heinous messages, including explicit video of her with another man. Mandy Roosh allegedly harassed Kevin Metzger with bullying messages until he took his own life in 2021. A Pennsylvania woman is accused of driving her estranged boyfriend to suicide through a series of heinous and graphic messages, including a video of her having sex with another man, according to authorities. Mandy Roosh, 35, was charged Tuesday, June 13th with aiding suicide, a felony, and harassment, a misdemeanor, after her ex, Kevin Metzger, took his own life two years ago, according to the Westmoreland County District Attorney's Office. Mr. Metzger may still be here today if those messages did not influence and encourage him to take his own life, District Attorney Nicole Zicarelli said in a statement. The reason why I also wanted to talk about this case and cases like this generally, so in a lot of cases like this, I've read comments and I've seen people's reactions be, let us just say, unempathetic. Now, I don't think, I'm gonna speak from my own experience, I don't think I've received crazy amounts of harassment more in the past year than ever in my life, granted, but I don't think I've received even like 170th of the harassment that like the big beauty influencers get. And even that is overwhelming, even that is a lot. Now, obviously it's not the same thing when it's pointed harassment, as in it's one person harassing you over and over and over again, especially someone who knows you, especially if you're related or were related as in you were married, if you have a child together, which is the case that we're gonna be talking about today. That's a very different thing, and I think it obviously hurts more when it's someone you know because they know how to hurt you and they're choosing to hurt you over and over again. That being said, a lot of the times I see comments like, oh, just don't let it get to you or just block them. Any kind of variant of that, which is valid. You should block the people who are just harassing you. You should try to not listen to them and so on and so forth. But it is a little bit similar to the whole, don't be depressed, don't be anxious, just be happy. And it's like, okay, well, girl, if it were that easy, I think everyone would be doing it. But at the end of the day, I think it also highlights a point of exhaustion, right? Because if you are being harassed, like Metzger was, if you have a child with that person, so it's not like you can block them, it's not like you can run away from them, it's not really a case of just leaving and going, it just falls flat to say, oh, just do this, because there is no just, there's no simple, way out. And I'm not trying to make this into a whole monologue, but since I've seen people really belittle cases like this, I'm just gonna say, no. Metzger, who served 20 years in the US Army before being honorably discharged and re-enlisting in the Army Reserves, according to his obituary, died on June 18th, 2021. Police found a letter allegedly written by Metzger and Facebook posts from Metzger's personal account that shared the details of Roosh's alleged harassment through text messages. Roosh allegedly threatened to keep the child she and Metzger share away from him and urged Metzger to kill himself, according to court documents obtained by penlive.com. I hope for the child's sake that you do kill yourself, Roosh allegedly wrote, she would be better off not even knowing you. Roosh purportedly began messaging Metzger via WhatsApp that she was moving in with another man and that her new partner would be their daughter's new father. Now, I think it goes pretty much without saying that everything that I just read on her behalf, like what she was doing, is malevolent. Like there is no good intention there. There's no misunderstanding. There's nothing more complex then she's being evil to be evil. She's being cruel to be cruel. There's no other interpretation in my opinion. And I've thought about this for a while because when I try to make sense of these things, I really do think, 
what the fuck is going on here, but this is just straight up. Even if I wanted to justify her, which I don't, there would be no damn way. I do think it's particularly evil when kids are involved because it's already bad enough when there's another human because why do you have to be like that? Walk away, leave it at that be civil if there's a child. But I think it's doubly evil because at the end of the day, not only are all the people who cared about Metzger losing Metzger, but the child is losing their father. So that's really what to me is absolutely jaw-dropping, devastating, because even if the kid is young now, when the kid grows up 16, 18, whatever age, when they find out what happened, what do you think they're gonna think about you? The person who, I'm gonna say caused this because I believe caused this, but the person who at least made this 20 times worse. Because really you're losing your own kid doing this. So you're losing your family, you're losing, I guess your ex-family, your ex-husband, and then you're gonna lose your kid because no kid is gonna stand by that. And if they do, I'd be worried for them too, what kind of mentality you're raising them with if they stand by what you did. So I also wonder what what is the long-term plan if there is one? And also the century-long question of this channel, how do you sleep at night? She allegedly said she would have sex with the new man on Mother's Day while your daughter calls him daddy, the news outlet reported, citing authorities. According to the Pen Live, on one occasion, Metzger sent $200 to Roosh, who complained that it wasn't enough, and sent him an explicit video of her having sex with another man. Erwin police charged Roosh with harassment in June of 2021 after Metzger had filed a complaint against her for the messages, penlive.com reported. Those charges were dropped after Metzger's death. Go kill yourself, she allegedly wrote in one of her messages to Metzger in 2020. You aren't a real human. There are a lot of things I could say, so I'm just gonna reel it in and say that absolutely under no circumstance ever in my life have I found it appropriate to say go kill yourself to someone, not ever, not ever, not even when they threatened me. It's just, I don't know how you can say that, end of. Let alone to the father of your child, no matter what's going on, I'm gonna move on from that because that's just something I find past beyond any boundary. Aside from that, even the sending of the sex tape with the other man to Metzger, is weird because, I mean, obviously, for some very obvious reasons, it's weird to send that to your ex, prove what, that you're with someone else, I don't know. I have to also wonder, and maybe this is just my thinking, but it's like, you might have made a sex tape with your new partner for whatever reason, okay? But part of me is like, if you're so obsessive with your ex partner and making their life hellish, did you film the sex tape just so you could send it to them and make them feel worse? Because that isn't outside of the realm of possibility, in my opinion, especially if you're trying to push someone to their limit. Would it really surprise me that you would do this thing? Not really. You guys can tell me your opinion down below, whether the sex tape was just lying around and she was like, you know what, let me just send this, or whether that was a more coordinated thing, because I have my doubts about that one. Authorities said that Roosh told Metzger repeatedly that he would not see his daughter on Father's Day. He reportedly messaged Roosh on June 18th, telling her his plan to post their WhatsApp exchanges online that same day. Two days before Father's Day, a friend of Metzger asked police to do a welfare check. After not being able to reach him, Penn Live reported, police found him dead when they arrived. We extend our condolences to the Metzger family for their loss and their grief they have experienced since his death, Zikarelli said. We will not allow or tolerate this kind of egregious behavior. The level of bullying, harassment, and threats rose to a criminal level in this particular case, and we will prosecute to the fullest extent of the law, the DA said. Roosh was arraigned Tuesday and has a preliminary hearing scheduled for June 27th. This is not the first time someone has been charged for their involvement in another person's suicide, and then they refer to Michelle Carter in 2017, which if you've not heard about that, there also shows about that whole situation. I would suggest looking into it because it really does highlight why these things shouldn't just be brushed off, even though the internet does, I feel, act like some of this is just so whatever. I just am not over the level of cruelty, and I guess if it's not for the ex-partner, it always returns to the children, because I think some people have this really bold belief in themselves that what they're doing is not only maybe not that big of a deal or not wrong, but they just feel like it's not gonna have this long-term effect, or maybe they just don't think about the long-term effect and repercussions of their actions, but here, really what we are seeing, in my opinion, is not someone who's just cruel, but someone who's selfish. Because ideally, 
if parents break up, there's still a civil rapport, at least for the child's well-being. Here, this mom basically said, fuck my kid, I'm gonna put how I feel about their parent first, and then if my kid has to suffer not having a parent, not having that bond, not having that connection, that's not my problem. And really, the person paying for this aside from obviously Metzger who took his own life, is the kid. I don't wanna to get too psychoanalytical because obviously not a therapist, not a psychologist, I wouldn't know. But part of me also wonders, is this kid going to feel guilty? Because in their position, I wouldn't be surprised if they did because they might think, oh, you know, mom and dad were arguing over me and then dad did this. So, you know, like it's really complicated and obviously sad, but I really do think that in a lot of these situations, a person really shows their true colors in terms of putting themselves above and beyond everyone and everything else. Anyway, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.